how would you define an influencer? It's a bit hard to define, but I mm. guess somebody who kind of makes a living out of like posting stuff. Yeah. Well, I have a <laughs> definition <laughs> here. Definition. Uh, an influencer is someone with the power to affect the purchasing decisions of others because of his or her authority, knowledge, position, or relationship with his or her audience. Oh, okay. So mm. that's, a, that's a more uh, legit, yeah, it sounds, credible Yeah, it, it sounds much term. better. Yeah. 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 And it is important to note that these individuals are not merely marketing tools, but rather social relationship assets which brands can collaborate to achieve their marketing objectives. This is from Influencer Marketing. Hub. It, it does make us sound a little bit more Much nicer, credible, right? Yeah. Not just uh, people who post photos of their butt right. <laughs> on Instagram. Right. So I think that like people find the term influencer just very turn offish yeah. because there is an element of um, boosting like about it. Like yeah. you, it sounds like you're you're praising yourself being very influential when you right. say that I am an influence inf- influencer. And because there's no proper sort of definition of who can actually be counted as an influencer? It seems like if you call yourself one, it's mm. very like yeah unabashed. N- nowadays, it's almost as close as a taboo. Yeah, right? somehow like YouTuber just sounds so much better than influencer. I feel. Oh well, well now it does, but yeah. Honestly, like six, seven years ago when I first started, when I said you're a YouTuber, like what? Yeah, Ugh, yeah. YouTuber. So you what make videos? Uh, you know, it's, but, it's very condescending. There's a very yeah, condescending. Yeah, yeah, it's very condescending. Yeah. But, but influencer is not just condescending. It has a, a element of you are very like shallow. You are very self important to it. Right. Whereas YouTuber doesn't really sound like that because as a YouTuber, you might not even post your face, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, those gaming commentary ones, they don't even show their face. Yeah. So there's no element of very vain or like right. whatever. Well, it, yeah. YouTube has evolved so much yes. now. Yes, yes. Well, it, where influencer just, it just gives, leaves a bad taste in the mouth yeah. for a lot of people, you know, yeah. especially in Singapore. I mean, I keep hearing that influenza oh, yeah. Th- uh, yeah, yeah. thingy. So. <laughs> it's getting pretty lame at that pun, honestly. Yes. Yeah, but it's, it, it's become a boomer thing, yeah. the influenza. <laughs> Yeah. I feel that like, you know, people, they think that influencer is something that an occupation that doesn't deserve any respect because there is no natural talent to what you're doing. Like versus if you are artist or like an entertainer, uh, if you are an uh, actress, you can act. You can uh, yeah, act well, I guess there's anyone. some legitimacy that comes with it, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I mean, like, it's true. Like for example, the TV station approves of you being right. in this TV drama and that makes you... That oh yes, you, yes, yeah. But it validates if you, it validates you for sure. But if you're an influencer, there's no validation, and I guess mm. that's why a lot of these influencers, content creators, they feel the need to uh, use YouTube or Instagram as a stepping stone to go onto something bigger, like right. maybe being a movie star, actor, TV TV host. Do a lot of them do that? I don't think so, right? Well, it used to be it used to be a like like that. Mm, yeah. uh, I think some some still do it. I feel it's more the other way it's around. It's the other way around yeah. now, right? right. Like the yeah. actors and the actors all the all TV people, radio, they're jumping on the Instagram yeah. and they uh, be social hip. media. They, 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 they feel like they need to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, that, that's how they earn money too as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Correct. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't want to be like left that's yeah. in the dust. Yeah, you know? precisely. You can promote oh. your own shows yeah. and everything. Yeah, but there are a lot of different types of influencers, yes. different tiers of influencers, mm-hmm. right? Yep. So I put it together here. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess... I've, I've read a few articles. Mm. Um, I've heard of nano influencers, micro influencers, mid tier influencers, macro influencers, and mega influencers. Now, mm. I guess um, in Singapore context, we don't really have any mega influencers, right? Because mm. that would be people like Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner uh, yeah. Selena more Gomez, more than do, do 10 million. Huge, yeah, A list mm. celebrities. Dang. And um, so I guess for us in Singapore here, it's micro, mid tier, macro, people like. You and I. I, I, I think guess I would consider you both of you macros. Yeah. Macros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess that's. That, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but that, I mean, yeah. you don't go bigger than. How, how do you go bigger than that? I guess JJ Lin. JJ Lin. Yeah, yeah. Jamie Chua, maybe I don't know. Yeah. That's that she's still considered macro. Ma- yeah. My macro. Right. Macro. Yeah, macro. Yeah. yeah. Today I thought I'm a mid tier, so yes. <laughs> that sounds not bad. Better it's than right. nano. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone in Singapore is a nano yeah. influencer. Almost everyone. Uh, yeah. What, what is somebody like, like 30,000? 30, 30, a micro for uh, That's, sure. that's micro. micro. That's yeah. my micro mother. Sure. My mother's micro. Oh, <laughs> oh your mother has 30,000? I cannot remember something like that. <laughs> wow, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah.